if you think not having your period isn't that big of a deal, think again. I am now on crutches a month before my wedding because my bones were too weak and I got a fracture in my hip. I don't know who needs to hear this today, but not having your period is actually a pretty big deal. And while it may not seem like it's actually affecting your health, with every single period that you miss in your fertile years, your bone health is actually taking such a huge hit. As a registered dietitian, I see so many young active women actually develop osteoporosis as a result of not having their periods because when you don't have adequate levels of estrogen and progesterone, we tend to see the weakening and thinning of the bones. And I know you might be thinking, well, that's not going to happen to me. No matter how healthy you think your diet is, or even if you're strength training, this is not enough to protect your bones if you don't have your period. And if you're truly wanting to strengthen your bones, be able to maintain an active lifestyle, and one day be able to have a family, we have to prioritize period recovery. If you've been struggling with getting your period back and you want to make sure that you're taking the right steps and supporting your body the best, comment or DM me the word recovery.